This Cancun travel guide is your ultimate guide to the best things to do while visiting Cancun. Cancun is a premier destination due to its world-renowned beaches, breathtaking sunsets, and vibrant culture. Cancun has something for everyone, from exploring the Tulum ruins and Sino dos Hoyos, to snorkeling in Cozumel Reef and exploring Chichen Itza's Mayan pyramids. So join us as we uncover the top 10 must-dos in Cancun that you must experience during your stay here. Examine the Cancun Hotel District. Starting with the Cancun Hotel District, Cancun is split into two sections. Cancun Island, also known as the Hotel Zone or Zona Hotelera, and the downtown area, commonly known as Ciudad Cancun. The main tourist destination is the Hotel Zone, which is known for its resorts, catamarans, crazy nightlife, and beaches. A 15-mile stretch of sand has the shape of the number 7. The majority of people stay here. The majority of the nightlife, beaches, and hotels are all present, as the name would suggest. The only road, called Kukin Boulevard, which connects the two sides of the hotel zone, is lined with eateries and bars. Swim in the cenotes. After exploring the Cancun Hotel District, you can swim in the cenotes. Isla Mujeres' amazing cenotes, which are naturally occurring, water-filled sinkholes created in limestone caves, are a notable feature of Mexico's Yucatan Peninsula. Thousands of cenotes blanket the whole Riviera Maya, and many of them are swimmable. Cenotes are produced when the limestone surface gives way, allowing access to the extensive network of underground rivers in the Yucatan. The majority of visitors travel there to go swimming, diving, or snorkeling. After a 30-minute drive from Cancun, along the Ruta de Cenotes, Cenote Route, close to Puerto Morolos, and some of the best cenotes. Among the various cenotes found here are Cenote La Noria, Verde Lucero, Cenote Mojaras, and Cenote Selvatica. Travel by boat. We all enjoy going to beach clubs, although they can be a little boring. An excellent alternative to lazing by the sea all day is a sailing expedition. You may sail to Isla Mujeres on this particular half-day sailing excursion and snorkel with turtles at the same time for roughly half the cost. Isla Mujeres features stunning azure waters that are teeming with tropical fish and turtles. There, swimming feels similar to swimming in a pool. One of the top things to do in Mexico is this. Unwind at a top beach in Cancun. The first thing you'll want to do when staying in Cancun is head to the beach. The greatest beaches in Cancun are either close by or only a short bus trip from the hotel district. You may enjoy the beach in Cancun from sunrise to sunset because there are no opening or closing times, and they're all free. There are several beaches in the hotel zone where you may unwind and enjoy a margarita, but some of them stand out due to their beauty and atmosphere. One of Cancun's biggest beaches is Playa del Fiends. It is a local favorite because it's free of hotels and resorts and features the famous Cancun sign. Since the currents are so powerful, swimming is not recommended. The ideal beach for young children is Playa Tortuga since it offers gentle waves that permit swimming. The fact that it can get crowded is the only negative. The beachside restaurant serves drinks and seafood. The ideal location to plunge into the Caribbean Sea is Shakmul Beach. This lovely beach is a water sports enthusiast's paradise because of the abundance of businesses that hire out equipment. Playa Forum is the ideal fusion of a lively environment and a tropical getaway. This beach is surrounded by restaurants and bars and is situated behind Cocobongo, the most well-known nightclub in Cancun. Temazcal Ritual Another to-do is a Temazcal Ritual, which is a typical Mayan purifying ceremony that is performed in a small house. You enter the sweat lodge after stripping down to your underwear or bathing suit which is heated with hot rocks and water to create a steamy sauna. A shaman from the area leads the ceremony, performing the ritual and looking after the attendees. The Tamascal ceremony is performed in full darkness, while the shaman chants and conjures spirits with various herbs while pouring water over the hot rocks. 
To mask hell, which has been practiced since antiquity, is regarded as a ritual cleansing that benefits the body, mind, and spirit. The shamanic chanting helps you achieve a profound level of meditation as your body begins to perspire inside the cramped hut. Visit the Cancun Underwater Museum. Heading underground to visit the Museo Subacuatico de Arte, often known as the Underwater Museum, is one of the more unusual things to do in Cancun. In order to help part of the reef life surrounding Cancun be saved, the museum started to take shape in 2009. Over 500 sculptures have been submerged below since the project began to create this one-of-a-kind reef. Over 100,000 people visit the museum each year, and there are many other tours you can take there, such as the snorkeling tour or the scuba diving tour to the reef from Cancun. Fortunately, this has resulted in fewer people visiting natural reefs, which is helping them thrive. There's an additional 15 USD docking fee if you're taking the snorkeling excursion. Zip line across the jungle. Even if you believe you're terrified of heights, the zip line is one of the most iconic activities in Cancun that you just cannot miss. In fact, if you are, much the better. Near Cancun, there are a few distinct theme parks with zip lines. Selvatica is the closest theme park where you may go zip lining. With 10 distinct zip lines, they provide numerous packages. Additionally, Explore Adventure Park has two zip line circuits, each with seven distinct routes, the highest point of which is 45 meters, which is 147 feet. ATVs and cenotes are common additions to all of these adventure parks. Explore Rio's secret underground river. One hour from Cancun, near Playa del Carmen, is the protected natural reservoir known as Rio Secreto, which contains caves and underground rivers. There's still undiscovered portions of the vast networks of tunnels and corridors. They have a variety of unusual wildlife, including spiders with unusual shapes. It is a little daunting to walk in the dark, but don't worry, everything is secure. You can simply stroll through the flowing, shallow tunnels while admiring the stunning rock formations and the pristine water. Travelers with children will especially like this excursion because they will enjoy it. To save money, you can opt to drive yourself to Rio Secreto and merely reserve your trip, or you can reserve a tour that includes transportation from Cancun. Both alternatives are available, with the ticket-only option costing 86 USD and the option that includes transportation from Cancun costing 109 USD. Since it was more economical for our four-person group, I personally drove my own rental car. If you select the transportation option, the tour begins at 8 in the morning and comes with an AC car and refreshments. Chichen Itza Maya Ruins The magnificent ancient pyramids of Chichen Itza, a Maya metropolis, has made it a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Chichen Itza's earliest structure was constructed in the 5th century. The Temple of Kolkakan Pyramid, also known as El Castillo, stands 98 feet tall and is the city's most spectacular building. The nine terraces that surround it stand for the idea that there are nine levels in heaven. Chichen Itza has been wonderfully conserved, allowing visitors to see how the pre-Maya people lived. It's the most visited Mayan site in the Yucatan, and it's around 2.5 hours by vehicle or 3 hours by bus from Cancun. Party! You can top off your Cancun experience with some nightlife. There are lots of things accessible for you in Cancun if you choose to unwind with a drink in your hand rather than spend the entire day at sea. Cancun is renowned for its nightlife and amazing clubs. Even though Mandala Cancun, Congo Bar, and La Vaquita are all fantastic places to go out, Coco Bongo is without a doubt the hottest club in Cancun. It's a great place to party because the entertainment is so entertaining. One of Cancun's most well-liked nightclubs is Coco Bongo. Live music, acrobats, and a fun environment in this club will keep you dancing all night. Getting into this club can be a little challenging because everyone wants to go there. It's therefore preferable to purchase your tickets in advance. With this early ticket, you may avoid the line and get 15 beverages for free. You'll also be able to sit down during the performance. Naturally, standing for hours on end will be no fun. With a long range of wonderful activities, it's no wonder Cancun is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Mexico. 
When visiting Cancun, it's safe to say you won't get bored, and if you do, just take advantage of the leisure. As much as it is about enjoying tours and activities, Cancun can also be unwinding. So these were Cancun Travel Guide Top 10 Must Do's in Cancun for all the travelers out there that are looking to make the most out of their trip. We hope this guide helps you plan an amazing Cancun vacation. Which destination will you visit first? Don't forget to like and comment below to let us know which adventure you're planning to go to. Thanks for watching.